welcome back to another Tomb Raider episode. This time I'm going to be playing free for all on two different maps, Monastery and Underground. Now the way free for all works is you can have up to eight players in a game, and the goal is to hit 15 kills. Now both times I was playing, I don't know why this is because I don't know very much about free for all, but I became the executioner, which allowed me to kill all of the players in the game. Once they were all dead, there was no respawn. So, it was like, it just won. Now, I like this map more for TDM and rescue, which I'll probably be showing you in the next episode how, a, how rescue works. But it isn't, it's a large map for free for all, and you have like four bone arrows that you get the deal with. Somebody gets one of the hidden guns, the minigun, or the competition bow. It's kind of ridiculous to have to deal with them. Now I keep hearing all this gunfire, but I can't tell where it's coming from, so I'm going up and down, up and down, trying to look for people, and I can't find anybody. Now, if, as you can tell, I'm actually down by four kills, and I've only got one kill. So I'm desperately trying to catch up this game. Coming up this wall is like you as I was telling you, the guy with the minigun is just unstoppable, it's just ridiculous. But once we get to the underground map you'll see how much better I do. Now I just go on a rampage right here. Because everybody seems to be in this little spot or something, I have no idea why. So I just on a small rampage taking everybody out and you'll see here in a few minutes what this executioner thing I'm talking about is like it's weird to show the name tags of the survivors I'm not quite sure exactly is that what you're doing? let see as you can tell now I know where everybody is and I'm not sure if everybody else gets this ability but I know where everybody is, so all I have to do is go to the spot and take them out. If I have no do without dying, I think it's I need to find ammo. As you can tell, there's only one execution left, and all I have to do is kill him. So I just I place down a, a fake toolbox over there, which is like a mine, to where if a person steps over it, they explode, or the toolbox explodes. I'm sorry. So I'm hunting this last person down, and I'm guessing he's going to come over, see him unload him with my AK, take him out, and that's a win. Now, here is Underground, and this is my favorite map still. I just, I love how it is. Now you can see this is one the bridge is actually intact. I don't know if it actually gets destroyed in this uh, video or not, but I think this is actually a perfect map for free for all. Now I also found out uh, a few days ago that there's a lot of expansion packs with different multiplayer maps, so I may be getting a few of those off Steam to show you the different maps, because right now I believe there's only like four or five that I could play as right now and I'm not sure why that is, or, well I know why that is but I'm going to uh, get some of the expansion packs to further be able to expand my series. Now I kind of go into more of a camping game for this because there, you can't really move around too much in this and there's a lot of spots that you can overview the practically the entire map. So I'm just on a relentless kill streak here. And I'm trying to take out this guy. 
Now, so one of the most frustrating things for me is how they could hard, hardly have any health and then you're shooting at them and they happen to survive by killing you. Now, I can't wait till I level up to the higher levels to see what the other guns are like because I I like their assault rifles, but not so much their shotguns. Their shotguns, you have to be really close in order to do anything. And depending on what shotgun you have, it's not necessarily a instant death. What I also like about free throw is how it you have a three second respawn. It's not where in team deathmatch where you have to wait ten seconds just to respawn. It's like seven or ten. That it's just it's kind of boring to sit there and watch your teammate move around while you're waiting for yourself to respawn and here you just you pretty much respawn instantly now this is where I throw my rampage here I believe I think, no I think I die one more time in both games I die three times and in the first game I go 9 and 3 second game I go 12 and 3 so I'm coming over here and I'm trying to get my revenge kill this guy killing me just tear him up now there's somebody who's over here on a Gatler gun, the same one that I became a turret pro on in the last episode. Quickly unload on him, then try taking out this guy, get an assist on him, come over here take out Grim, get another relentless kill streak, come around the corner, keep looking for guys, then I believe I happen to find one. Around here, he comes through the hallway, unload on him, take him out, pop around this corner, look, see if there's anybody here. Now this is what the traps look like, that's what the rope trap is. Pretty much all you have to do is shoot the string and you're free. But there are different ones, there's ones where spikes come out of the walls and hit you, and those ones are a lot harder to touch, because you have to actually jump over the string to make sure you don't die. I almost died when I was on my execution streak right here. Because I turn around, attempt to take out this guy, which I do.